Thanks for staying with us on News Tonight. Now, here are some uh, discouraging statistics. About 250 incidents of ragging have been reported in India in the past 10 years. But the incidents that are not reported are believed to be several times worse. A nationwide campaign to discourage ragging at educational institutions concluded in Chennai recently. Here's how the campuses of the city reacted to that. The campaign called Bus or Nahi traveled over 5,000 kilometers and spread its message against ragging in 50 colleges in 11 cities. 40,000 students pledge against the menace. Videos that call for an end to ragging were screened. We are taking different uh, courses. We are taking, and one was uh, ragging issue, which we thought uh, it is really a menace in in our country. That this is this year we found this as a good response from this. We're going to review this. The campaign was unveiled in Delhi a month ago. Activists posted updates on its progress on social networking sites. At its conclusion at Loyola College, popular band Desi Tara performed a song that was exclusively made for the drive. I mean, it's nice to promote a social cause like this because I guess it's what every student goes through. So, I mean, we put across something we thought we would, probably the people would like and they can relate to. Probably they can even sing it even. I mean. The campaign against dragging is the longest ever conducted in India and the first of its kind. This nationwide campaign against dragging comes at a time when a student in the state is suspected to have succumbed to this evil menace. The need of the hour is the change in the attitude of the college students. And this campaign is certainly a positive step towards that. In Chennai, Lokpriya, NDTV Hindu. Now, the sweeter your intake could land you in loss of your vision. Or oh, those suffer, suffering from diabetes are more likely for such a condition. Well, if you never were aware of something like that, you're not alone. Almost one third of diabetics are not aware of the diabetes-related eye condition called retinopathy. Zoya Thomas reports on the prevalence of this disease and the management of this in India. In India, dubbed as the diabetic capital of the world, diabetic retinopathy, or a condition that affects the retina of a diabetic patient, is the sixth foremost cause of blindness and it's on the rise. Uh, roughly our, uh, the studies goes that 75% of the population is not, are not aware of the diabetes itself. And then goes that is the eye affected? Definitely yes, no. So this is the, this is the lack of uh, the awareness which the, the population is having now. Currently, there are no proper screening programs for this disease. In fact, in a country like India, which has around 50 million diabetics, there are not enough ophthalmologists, but when it comes to technology, headway has been made. Over the last two years, there have been a, a rapid increase in the number of drugs, the newer pharmaceuticals, mainly which we call it as anti-VEGF injections. These injections are given in the eye and they can reduce the swelling in the retina. They can even reduce the, the new vessels in the retina. And these injections are also known to improve the vision. The eye hospital Shankar Netralaya is organizing a three-day conference to explore further advances in the management of diabetic retinopathy. In Chennai with reporter Zoya Thomas, Kuku Alex for NDTV Hindu. On to some national news now. It's not really very good news coming from the capital. The river Yamuna in Delhi is steadily rising as a huge volume of water released from the Hathni Kund barrage upstream in Haryana is causing it to swell. It crossed the danger mark on Thursday afternoon and now it's flowing close to one meter above the danger mark. The Delhi government has reportedly sought the help of the National Disaster Management Authority, that's the NDMA, to deal with the situation. This was apparently decided at a high-level meeting yesterday. But the Delhi government says there's no need to panic as additional boats and pumps have been put into action and all low-lying areas facing the danger of flooding have already been evacuated. In addition to this, the government has also said that there is no danger to the Commonwealth Games village. We've sent a warning. Already, most, I think 99.9% of the people have been moved to safer places, asking others to move on. Camps have been set up. And let us hope that uh, 
जो डेंजर पॉइंट्स हैं उनमें भी हम एहतियात बरतेंगे Well, this is news tonight. Still ahead, Robo releases rubber early at a school in this city. Find out more on the other side.